Could that be the end of Leeds United in the Prem after that woeful, embarrassing performance against Chelsea? I get it's against Chelsea, one of the best sides in the Premier League, but it's the simple, it's the basics, the fundamental of being a Premier League side that Leeds just really lacked today. Four minutes in, they concede straight away. 24 minutes, then they get a red card. 3-0 loss against Chelsea. You, you wouldn't have thought watching that performance today that Leeds were in the relegation zone. They were fighting. There was no fight. There was no desire from anyone. And we can discuss that first goal. Yeah, it was a touch of brilliance from um, uh, Mason Mount with that finish from outside the box on that right foot. Curled into the top corner. Mesle nowhere near. And he's not really at fault for that. It's just an absolute screamer, let's be honest. But what was the problem for me? It was a formation to start off with. Rafinha out on that right. Struggled against Marcus Alonso. Dived in. And then it just... Everyone seemed to be nowhere. Look, there were so many players in the box when you watch that highlight back. So many Leeds players caked into their box. But Mason Mount, you can't leave Mason Mount free on the edge of the box. Someone's got to be touched tight to him. It's Again, it's the simple and the fundamentals of football. And these kind of things you look back on could will be the reason if Leeds get relegated because of the simples and the fundamentals that they could, fundamentals, sorry, I can't speak, that they just lacked. Um, and you honestly wouldn't have thought Leeds were in a relegation battle. Zero shots on target, and they showed no desire. And somebody may argue and say, okay, the Dan, Dan James red card 25 minutes in, is that desire? No, that's just stupidity. A ridiculous challenge that there was no need for it. I don't understand. Dan James has been getting yellow cards for fun this season, who I don't understand why he needed to make that challenge on Kovacic. It was a very, very strong challenge. And I think that's probably why uh, Kovacic went off a few minutes later, but... I didn't get my. I couldn't get why he did it. What a ridiculous thing to do. Probably Jesse March said before the game, we need to start off resolute and get first half, I want to come in and not concede. Four minutes in, they concede. 25 minutes later, they've given away a red card. Stupid mistakes. Silly errors. There was no need for Dan James to do that. He's let Leeds down there. And quite easy, could have got the club relegated. Because not only that, he won't be there for the next game. Ridiculous challenge. And there is no one on here who can argue that that was not a red card. Yes, I understand he got the ball, but he was so high up on the leg. It's not a follow through. That is intent to hit the man. There is no need to that. He's endangered the player. So that is 100% a red card. Definitely the right decision. And then from then, from then onwards... Just Leeds just looked poor. They, they didn't do anything. 32% possession. I get they've got 10 men, but at least you're going to sit deep and let the other side have the ball. Try and counter. And they just didn't counter with any any pace or anything. You'd think with a player like Rafinha on, um, Jack Harrison before he went off injured, um, you'd think they'd, be, they'd have a bit of something. But there was nothing like that. Rafinha just didn't look, look up to pace today. I thought Rodrigo really struggled. Um, I thought Lewis Bate in the middle was extremely poor to that. And I understand the youngster playing and things, but you could tell he was he was just he was like a fish out of water in that game. He just could not compete with Jorginho and uh, Kovacic and the like the other players when they were on in that midfield. Reese James, by the way, was absolutely amazing. And this isn't just me slagging off Leeds, but what frustrates me is when you're in a relegation battle, you've got to it's just the basics. You look at sides like Burnley when they, they sit deep, they soak up pressure. Uh, Everton have done it recently. They've they've sat deep. They've just become hard to beat. Whereas Leeds, they just let the gate open. They go, go on. How many shots do you want? Take your chances. Chelsea, I don't think they ever really got into second gear in that entire game. They didn't have to. Five minutes in, they got a goal. They've gone to Leeds. They've gone to Ellen Road, a place where the atmosphere was absolutely rocking. And they've literally just been given a free a free pass. Go on then, have a shot straight away. We want no one to mark you. No one to press you. Don't worry. Just take a shot. It's simply not good enough. And I thought Lukaku was really good today. I thought he really struggled. I thought Lorente really could not cope with him. Lorente, I thought, was really poor. And you saw that for the final goal at the end when he, I don't know what he was doing, when he was dilly-dallying on the ball and gave away the ball. But go through the Chelsea side, I thought the entire back three was great. I thought Chavala was the, the best out of that back three. And it's going to be interesting to see what goes on with that back three, to be honest, next season, obviously, with Christiansen and Rudiger off. Uh, Marc Alonso, I still don't think he's very good, to be honest. I thought he struggled, but... At the end of the day, a clean sheet and a win. You can't really moan. Uh, I thought Jorginho was good. He kept the ball moving, doing what he always does. I thought Rhys James was amazing. They couldn't cope with him down that, that uh, left-hand side. They really couldn't. Shrujic couldn't really couldn't comp uh, compete or just get anywhere near him at any point. I thought Mason Mount was by far the man of the match. And I think it goes back to the... I understand the 10 v 11. I get that. But the amount of space Mason Mount was allowed to have. Because I get Leeds want to play open, expansive football, but don't allow spaces for players like Mason Mount or Christian Pulisic to just operate and do what they want. It's ridiculous. The amount of time and space they had on the ball, and that's where I thought Lewis Bate really struggled. Um, he just couldn't get anywhere near. 
couldn't get anywhere near whatsoever. Um, Liam Cooper then and Lorenta had to keep coming out of position to try and track Mason Mount, and then it allowed uh, Lukaku to be one on one. Uh, I thought Pulisic was really good, and as I said, Lukaku. I thought Lukaku was really good today. I think he's looked really good recently. He looks, he looks fit. He looks strong. He got on the ball. Forty-five touches. 73 passing accuracy. He got them, kept the ball moving. I thought he was really good and he caused a lot of problems. I thought Meslier struggled today, but I don't really know. You can't really moan at him too much. I understand when you look when you look through, it wasn't very many accurate passes and things, but he just wasn't helped by this lead side today. And I know that there's a whole discussion now. Will these get relegated? And it, it, it depends on other results now, doesn't it, really? Let's be honest. Uh, Everton getting the draw, or currently as it stands, I don't know if it's full time yet in that game. I'm still. I'm still uh, recording. Oh, yeah, it's full time as that game's going on. It was the same time kickoff. I don't know what I'm on about. That has helped Leeds because obviously you'd have expected Everton to get a win there. But you just wanted a bit more from Leeds. Leeds fans, let me know in the comment section below. Are you disappointed with that performance? Surely you've got to be because it's just simply not good enough. It's, it's the naivety or arrogance. I can't decide which one it is to think that, OK, we can just allow Chelsea to do what they want. It, it, what are they doing on the training ground? What are they discussing? What tactically is going on to allow Chelsea to have so much space, so much time throughout the game, throughout 90 minutes? It's just simply not good enough. And they haven't got a goal scorer. I thought Rodrigo just really struggled, simply just struggled. And when you compare it to, you look at Chelsea, and I know money spent is completely different, but this lead side, I know they've got a lot of injuries and stuff, but they have spent a lot of money on some of these players. There's some serious amount of money spent on those players and some good players in that side. It's just not working. This, this is simply, it's, it's, the, it's the formation, it's the system, and it's the, the silly red cards, the silly mistakes. Overall, Leeds fans, do you think you'll get relegated? Let me know who your man of the match was. I thought my man of the match, I said before, was Mason Mount. Uh, Honourable mention was definitely Lukaku, and I thought Lewis Bate and uh, Dan James were the two worst players on the pitch. But obviously, Dan James, you've probably got to say that. I'm being a bit harsh on Lewis Bate. Hopefully, he does come good in the future because I think I'm pretty sure he's a youngster because um, I've not really seen much of him this season. I'm presuming so. Let's just say that. But Leeds now currently sat in, I'm looking at the table now, 18th spot, 34 points, joint points with um, Burnley. But it's the goal difference. They've just shipped another three goals. Surely at the point when you've got 10 men, you've conceded one goal after five minutes, and you think, OK, we're playing against a Chelsea side who have got the likes of Mason Mount, Virginia, players who can cut us open, Pulisic. Surely you just shut up shop and, ex and be pragmatic and understand that you're not simply going to be able to play this expansive football. You're not going to probably score. Just shut up shop and keep the goals down to a minimum. And then maybe in the last 10 minutes, go for it. You just don't see that with this Jesse Marsh side. But yeah, as I said, let me know, guys. Could Leeds be getting relegated after that performance? And Chelsea, great win, solid win. When people were questioning them recently, they've just bounced back. Great win and a great draw on the weekend. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments section below what you thought. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. It does really help. But yes, book out Sam, over and out. That was my Leeds versus Chelsea, 3-0 Chelsea match reaction and analysis. As I said, book out Sam, over and out. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.